level 1.2, holding the acoustic guitar. And in this level, we're gonna learn how to hold the acoustic guitar in the most efficient way. And by doing so, we're gonna protect ourselves from unwanted strain and injury and allow ourselves the most mobility so that we can make the most out of our practice time. Now, the first thing we need to do is establish a seating position. And that's gonna start with a chair, a chair without arms or a stool, just something that allows you to move your elbows freely and protect your guitar from banging up against the side of the chair. Make sure you sit with your back straight and you can use this device, which we call a footstool or something like it that will allow you to elevate your knee higher than your hip. And that's gonna allow your guitar to rest up against your body. Without the footstool, the guitar wants to slide down your leg. So the footstool does two things. It, it elevates your knee, forcing your guitar up against the side of your body, and it provides the proper angles for good left and right hand alignment. And we're gonna talk about that next. Posture is important, so sit up straight, and we're gonna put the back of the guitar up against the side of the body, about where the thigh meets the hip. Now I'm a right-handed player, so I'm using right-legged position. If you're left-handed, you can just switch it around. So I've got my foot on the footstool, it's my right leg and my right foot, and the guitar is resting up against my right side. Now I know some of you are tempted to want to tilt the guitar out like this so that you can see what you're doing, understandably. But look what it's doing to my wrist. And so we're gonna talk about wrist alignment real quick. I want you to bring your left and right hand out like this and make a fist. And if you're, as long as your wrist is straight, your hand is strong. But the moment you bend your wrist, notice how much weaker it gets. In fact, it actually hurts, doesn't it? And the reason for that is because of the alignment of the hand and the wrist with the forearm. So as long as your wrist is straight, the tendons which pull your fingers are moving in a straight line. But the moment you bend your wrist, now your tendons are having to go around a corner. And so it makes it more difficult to move. So what I advise is for you to keep your strings facing your audience. And this will do two things. One, as acoustic guitar players, we need to project our volume towards our audience. And then two, it provides a proper angle so that we can keep our left and right hand straight. Next, we're gonna talk about holding the acoustic guitar as it relates to the fretting hand. And earlier, we discussed how influential the tilt of the neck is to the alignment of the wrist. Well, it's as equally important when it comes to the tilt of the neck. And that has to do with the anatomy of our shoulder, elbow, and wrist. If I do a bicep curl, my knuckles are in a natural tilt. See the angle of the knuckles? And so we wanna accommodate that by providing the same angle with the fret board. In other words, you want your knuckles running parallel to the frets. And to test this, I like to do the marble test. Now, we can't put a marble here, but if we could, if we could put a marble at the top of the neck, we would want it to roll down towards our body. And that ensures that we've got a good neck angle. If the marble were to roll away from the body, then that's a bad angle. It's easier to see like this. Watch this. My knuckles are nice and parallel to the neck because the angle and the knuckles are consistent. But as the neck flattens out like this, my hand remains the same. And look what it's doing. It's pulling my fingers away from the fretboard. And that makes it harder to play. Now I have to compensate by bringing my elbow in like this. And that's not a natural position. So you can imagine this impact on chords like the B minor chord or the C major chord. Proper neck angle, it's nice and comfortable. But if the neck turns this way, it's pulling my fingers away. And that makes playing chords and scales and everything else on the guitar much more difficult. So we have a proper neck angle when it comes to the, the body, this direction. And we have a proper neck angle when it comes to the neck in this direction. Now when it comes to the picking hand, we should be in pretty good shape. We have our guitar up against the side of the body, strings facing the audience. We have a nice angle on the neck. Everything else should flow naturally. Now this is unique to acoustic guitar players because we are going to be playing with half our hand over the sound hole in the wood. My electric guitar players, I have them playing with their palm on the bridge back here. But we're gonna keep ours over the sound hole. We get a better tone there. Now angles are important. We're gonna be running a 45 degree angle 
from the lip of the guitar, and we're gonna split the guitar all the way down to the bottom E string at about 45 degrees. And we're gonna put our forearm in that alignment, just like this. So everything's nice and straight. And so from the tip of the forearm all the way down to the base of the thumb to the tip of the thumb is splitting the guitar at about 45 degrees. You don't want this angle, that's 180 degrees, too extreme. This is too extreme, that's 90 degrees. We're gonna split the difference right there at about 45 degrees. And you don't want your bicep over the edge of the guitar, you want the forearm over the edge of the guitar. Now for now, that's really all you need to know. We'll get into more detail when we talk about holding the pick and proper right hand or picking hand alignment when it comes to the acoustic guitar in a future level.